Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to go hands-on and check out what's new in iOS 12. Starting off with the lock screen, one of the first things you'll notice is that the mess that was the iOS notification system has been improved, and now notifications are shown in groups by message threads or notification topics. The new notification system also lets you fine-tune your settings without having to leave your lock screen or notification center. Simply force touch the notification and then tap the ellipses in the top right corner for more options like deliver quietly, turn off, or take a deeper dive into the settings menu. You can also get Siri suggestions on your lock screen. As Siri learns your routines, you'll get suggested shortcuts for what you might need on the lock screen or in search. Speaking of Siri, Siri shortcuts will allow users to add workflows from any app that can help with various tasks throughout your day. This is actually customizable with the new Shortcuts app where you can create and customize a plethora of shortcuts or choose from the hundreds of pre-made shortcuts already available. The Shortcuts app has not yet been released, but if you go into Settings, Siri, and Search, you'll notice a Shortcuts section right at the top with the ability to add some suggested shortcuts or browse through a lot more. For example, I can select the See Top Financial Story shortcut for the Stocks app, type out a phrase like Financial Stories, and then dictate that to Siri which will trigger the shortcut. Once the Siri shortcut app arrives in the App Store, I can see this being a feature that can help make Siri a bit more useful to some. Animojis on the iPhone X also received an update, with a few new Animojis to choose from, as well as a new feature called Tongue and Wink Detection, which with improved face tracking, the Animoji will now recognize when you stick out your tongue or wink. iOS 12 also brings us Memoji, a fun way to incorporate yourself into the Animoji world. This is obviously pretty similar to Samsung's AR emoji, but the face detection and treat up camera system makes this version of Memoji a much more fluid and pleasant experience. Users can use the Memoji Maker, a new tool to select and adjust a bunch of customization options to make your Memoji. I had a little more fun creating my Memoji than I thought I would, but to me this is still a novelty and I'll most likely forget about Memoji in the near future iOS 12 had a heavy focus on messages and FaceTime, and the latter received an update that will allow group FaceTime calls capable of holding groups of up to 32 people, which is absolutely insane. You can join or add people to group FaceTime at any time. During group FaceTime, the current speaker will automatically be front and center, much like Google Hangouts where the person speaking becomes the prominent window on your screen. You can of course start a group FaceTime call right from a group messages conversation, see and join active calls from the conversation list or in the conversation itself and use Animojis during a FaceTime call. FaceTime calls can also be started from a standard messages conversation with one person. The messages and FaceTime apps also got some new camera effects that can enhance your photos and video calls using the built-in effects or third-party sticker packs. Finally, even though these new features might make you want to use your phone more, Apple created a slew of new options and settings that can help you manage exactly how much you use your phone and what apps you spend the most time in. Starting with Do Not Disturb, we get a Do Not Disturb at Bedtime feature which will dim your display and silence overnight notifications until you unlock your iPhone in the morning. There are also new Do Not Disturb settings that will set Do Not Disturb to end automatically in an hour, at the end of the day, or when you leave a certain location, or at the end of a meeting in your calendar. The screen time section in the settings menu is where you will see all the various reports on your phone usage, how many times you pick up your phone in a day, and the amount of notifications you get per hour and what particular apps are sending you those notifications. There are also more options like downtime, which will schedule a time away from your phone, app time limits, options for selecting apps that can always send notifications, and finally options to block inappropriate content with content and privacy restriction settings. Apple also redesigned some of its own applications like Stocks, Voice Memos, and iBooks, which has now been renamed to Apple Books and added an iPad version of the Stocks app with Apple News integration. Speaking of iPad, some unmentioned iOS 12 changes to the iPad hint that a redesigned iPad is coming in the near future with Face ID and no home button. As you can see, the status bar has been redesigned to accommodate what would likely be a notch where the TrueDepth camera system will be, and new iPhone X style gestures like swiping up from the bottom of the screen to go home. You can also pull down from the top right to access Control Center and from the left for notifications. These are some of the major changes that can be found in iOS 12, but there are a slew of other useful updates that have gone under the radar, so be sure to stay posted to Mac Rumors for a future video on some of those hidden features of iOS 12 in the days to come. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.